Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now today, I told you I'd be bringing out something else, and this is a smaller ship than the last one, so it did not take me as much time, but it took me a couple hours to come up with this design and stuff like that. I had to uh, kind of fix some things. I don't really need that remote block now that I think of it, but whatever. Um, but on this ship, its main purpose is for speed, and then to run in, get intel with these cameras, you can get our front camera, you know, there's a back camera back here, and it doesn't really need much, uh, it's almost fully battery powered, there's about six reactors, but that's really kind of overkill, it's just to power the things, so we just got a cargo container here so you can access all the reactors, and fill them up with uranium and stuff, and then we got these new uh, laser antennas, and we got one on the bottom and one on the top to establish a connection to where, so when you uh, get out, when you get out into wherever you need to go, you see which one of these can establish a connection back to your station, back to your base, back to your main ship. Doesn't really matter what it is, but right now we just have a connection to here. And I'll show you why that's in a second. Now, this whole interior of the ship, I'll kind of cut it away here in a moment to kind of show you what it is. But first of all, the interior is basically just this. You can see uh, some batteries right here. And then you just got your cockpit right here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this stuff. Did not mean to all tab out. Oh well. But uh, let's take a look at the stats. It's 1 million kilograms, which is mostly from the mass blocks. I think add a good bit of mass to it. It's a lot of thrusters. Thrusters are pretty heavy. But the thrusters on the sides, I mainly did a ton of those. So when you're going full blast with the mass and you have your inertia dampeners on, you can still turn. So it's very nice. You can still turn. You're very agile. And this thing can get up to speed, up to full speed, it gets up to about 108 kilometers per, I mean, uh, meters per second. And that means that it goes faster than if something was chasing you with a uh, normal engine. So if you see a fighter coming in, you can easily escape. Uh, you'll be more than max speed, so you'll definitely get away from them. And then it's just crazy. But before I leave here, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take off because it'll take a while to get back into position. We'll go ahead and copy this, and then cut away some stuff. Go ahead and plop one up right here once I slow down. There we go. Alright, so let's just cut away into the side area right here. Go ahead and pull off these babies, and take off these. Now, as you can see, back behind those, it's just mass blocks with uh, gravity drives, some uh, grab gems right here and most of these go forward but then there's some backwards ones these are the only backwards ones it just helps with slowing down if you need to slow down pretty quick so let's just keep cutting away here just grab that and slice this away if it'll come on there we go and then slice this back all right now as you can see here this is all reflected on each side there's three gravity generators, and then there's a battery, and then in between the batteries, I'm pretty sh Yeah, in between some of these batteries, there's uh, mass blocks just in the middle. Yeah, like right there, and then right there. Now, all these gravity generators, the more you have in unison with the mass blocks, it makes you go much faster. This thing produces like 36 or 38 Gs of force forward with all the grab gens, and then on top, and then have the mass blocks being pushed. It pushes it really, really quick. So that's just something for you guys to kind of think about. Uh, let's go ahead and cut it back a little bit more. Now I literally started just by making this initial tube right here. Oh yeah, it's gonna break apart. I just made a tube and then I just zigzagged these like this. And then I dug out some spots for uh, gyroscopes because you need some gyroscopes. And then we just have, right here was a conveyor system. It was conveyed up to the uh, 
the reactors that were sitting right here. And then now you can just see the inner workings of it. So pretty much it's just one giant torpedo tube sort of deal. I'm just gonna go and delete that and then delete all this stuff. All right, now let's go check out this. Now, while we're connected, we have an established connection between these two laser antennas. Uh, so this should be good. So somebody at your base can be here and then they can, well, you would want to get here and then you would want to go to your antenna, copy the coordinates and then go paste them in that antenna over there in the ship. And I already did that, so they're connected. And now you can, uh, you're able to see its control panel through it and then you can control it as well just in case the pilot dies and the ship's still out there and it's connected then you're good. So got the snake scout ship. You go to it and then you can do this to get some uh, information back. You can tell them all right I'm in position look at my front camera. So then these people back at base they can view it and then boom there you go the front camera. And then you can come back here go here go to the back cam and you can look at the back too. So it's pretty nice, you can take, you can look at those uh, cameras without ever taking control of the ship. And then these laser antennas are nice because they don't give off a signal. So like, you can't see, say if this thing was behind an asteroid, you want to be able to see the thing that says antenna and want to broadcast to everybody. So this will just go by line of sight, as long as you're in line of sight, that's the only bad part. So basically it's just a one man crew that can take this one ship, so they'll just go out, get some intel, come back. Shouldn't be too long of a mission, but this thing, if you need to, to like sit out and just watch for a long time, you could. This thing is, this thing is built for it. So idly, it's 13 hours right now, probably because the batteries are uh, recharging. Oh no, they're not. Let me check on them. Power output. Okay, no, they're doing pretty good, but still, 13 hours is a lot. So and plus these connections, the connections of the laser antennas draining a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the speed. So you're about to see something kind of crazy, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these inertia dampeners. And then I'm gonna hit one to turn on the mass blocks and then two will go forward. Now just watch this. That's about two seconds, not even two seconds, like one and a half seconds to get the full speed at 109 uh, meters per second. Now, if you turn this on, you go down a little bit, but then you can also turn with your inertia dampeners on. So that's nice. All the thrust on the side allows you to do that, and then you can speed right back up. Now we just lost connection with the antenna. There we go, reestablish. Let's go ahead and turn on this to slow it down. All right, there we go. Push the is on, and we're slowed down. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So basically, this thing will just go in super quick and then be able to escape. Now. If we look at this, let's go ahead and see how far, let's see, this thing doesn't have much back or top or bottom thrust because it doesn't really need it, it only needs really side thrust. Now let's see how far out we can get from this, let's kind of point this like this so we can, so we can keep a connection like that. Let's see how long it takes to get about 5,000 meters out from this laser antenna. So we're going to have a count, I'm going to bring up a stopwatch on my phone right quick all right so we're gonna go in three. Oh no nope, never mind let me slow it down all right so we're gonna go in three two one so we're gonna get 5,000 meters out and then there's hammers off make sure we keep a connection So you're going to get away from anything that chases you, because the max speed is 104 point something, and this thing's going 109.0, so basically only a guy that's in his jetpack can catch up. We're just going to go to 4,000 meters, actually. So let's just let's turn around and get back over there.
So basically a round trip just took a minute. Oh, what's happening? No, turn that off. There we go. So a round trip took a minute to get 4,000 meters out and then turn and come back in. Pretty good. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, that'd be nice. Tell me what to build next. This is part of the fleet for the intelligence sort of area. So we're going to be able to go in, get some intel, come back, tell other things what to do. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.